Today's video is sponsored by Cat Beast, where you can design your own custom snapbacks and hats. Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of our Minecraft 1.14 Let's Play. Hope you guys are all doing well today. I'm doing fantastic. Guys, today is episode 57 and I've got an awesome episode planned for you. But before we get into the video, let's go ahead and do our question of the day. My question for you today is how do you feel about Minecraft 1.15 so far with the snapshots coming out? They have added bees and everybody seems to think that the update name is going to be bees and bugs. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm not really sure yet. It's a little too soon for me personally, but I'd love to know what you guys think. If you guys enjoy this series and you want to see more, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and turn on those notifications for when the videos come out. Let's get into it. Just want to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, Cat Beast. Be sure to check out their links in the description, guys. Okay, guys. So to get started with today's episode, we are going to be making an awesome raid farm. I need tons of emeralds for wanting to do enchantments and I feel like it's probably just going to be easier to make a raid farm. But I've got a question before we get started. So uh, typically on this channel, uh, this series will get about 50 to 70,000 views a video. Yesterday's video got, and I'll repeat this, yesterday's video got 26,000. That is uh, about 50% drop in views. So I'm curious, did you guys not see the video in the sub box? Was it just one you weren't interested in? Uh, were you busy? Like, I'm just kind of curious, right? Because I'm like panicking hardcore right now and I really need to know what's going on. So if you guys could help me out with that a little bit, that would be fantastic. So to get started, we need to find a good spot for this raid farm. Now, somewhere close to the village over here is probably going to be our best bet because I have two villagers marked. So maybe like right here actually would be kind of perfect. We'll probably have to fill in some of these holes, but I'm thinking like right here would be good. So believe it or not, these raid farms are actually so, so simple to build. And I don't know why I was so hesitant to build one to start with because just, wow, it's really easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove some of this dirt. So the first thing that we need to do is, wow, the sound is just, maybe it's my computer sounds loud. Hold on. Let me check that real fast. Nope. It's okay. We're going to turn the sound down a little bit because it is melting my ears. Okay. But, um, so there's really two different, uh, versions of this farm that you can make. You can make the infinite one, which is a villager outpost farm or you can make one that's controllable now if i was really really like wanting a lot of emeralds like i want emeralds but i feel like it'll be easier to get emeralds with looting rather than doing the villager outpost one plus i want it to be controllable too and i think that this is going to be the best bet for us so to get started we need to find a center point i would say probably about right here is fine and we need to make roughly an 11 by 11 square around this thing. So let's go ahead and do that. So uh, we just need to go five on each side. So there's three, four, five. Um, and then so one, two, three, four, five. Uh, same thing on the other side, though. So one, two, three, four, five and one two three four five so this is going to be too deep we want to dig this down too deep um and guys when i say that this thing is easy it's going to be so easy i would say the hardest part about this entire farm is probably getting the villagers here but since we have a village so close it shouldn't really be that hard at all so um once you have this dug down too deep you're going to want to make a canal for the mobs to fall in so that'll be in the center right here that'll go down uh probably you want to make sure that they drop a few blocks down so you probably want the center block to go down i don't know let's say five blocks okay guys i just got done cleaning everything up uh this is our chamber so let's go upstairs and show you what we've got so far um i want to talk about hermitcraft real fast as well everybody has been asking about where is hermitcraft jevin things like that hermitcraft is returning sunday with the one chunk challenge but we're changing a few things uh i think you're gonna like the changes though 
So with that being said, um, this is what we've got. This is our 11 by 11 and then three in the middle, which drops down five, then three more for a total of eight. This room in here is three and then four on each side. So what we need to do now is we just need to pick sort of any random side and dig out a little bit of a room here. It doesn't need to be a huge room, but it needs to be big enough to store a villager, uh, a bed, and a work table for him. So, because we need two villagers in this farm. So, yeah, there we go. Pick all that up. I think maybe one more back will be fine. There we go. Uh, so what I'll do now is I'll uh, clean the walls up. So this, like I said, this farm is really easy. Basically what's gonna happen with this farm is we are going to get bad omen i think there's a cave near me too by the way sounds like it <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna get bad omen once we have bad omen we will be able to trigger raids once the villagers are here because once they have a bed and a workstation they will see this as a farm or a village basically once there's a village bad omen will trigger the raid the raid will go through its normal cycles uh we're gonna kill the raid uh members with our looting three sword and get all the goodies and since the villager outposts transfers the bad omen effect and those guys just like infinitely infinitely respawn it's gonna be really really easy to do so we're just about there though so uh the hardest part about this entire thing is getting the villagers here but i've got them in mine carts already so there we go. So put that there. Let's go ahead and make sure that we have some lighting in this place. Just want to make sure that no mobs can, you know, spawn down here or anything just like that. Uh, put one there, there. And then so the villagers will go, the one villager will go in there. Let me clean this all up real fast. So there's a few things we need to do now to uh, make sure that this is going to work proper. First off, I gotta gotta make sure I'm trying to get back to projects where I finish them, rather than just leaving them hanging. That's I, I've been. I, how do I say this? Like I've been a very lazy Minecraft player as of late, and I want to fix that. So what we need to do is we need to put glass. Or, oh, I missed a spot. We need to put glass around the edges. Uh, we're gonna leave this side empty though for now because we just need to make sure that uh, the villagers can get into there. So I'm going to put them there. So when the mobs fall down, as you can see, it's going to be like one level. So what we're going to do now, um, we're going to have more storage set up here, but I'm just going to have the items flow to one side, basically, like probably right there. Uh, so let's grab uh, our hoppers. There we go. And then run everything to that. There we go. So the mobs will fall into that. Then we're going to use slabs. There we go. Because um, there are some pretty heavy mobs that will fall through there. So we should be able to kill them no problem from right here. Should work out pretty well, I think, actually. And then uh, once the raid is done, if we want to do another raid, we just fly and get Bad Omen again. I have to get the villagers here now. But before we can do that, we need to make uh, sort of a little platform upstairs for them. So let's go and sleep real fast. All right. Um, so there needs to be a villager on top and a villager on bottom. The villager on top uh, is literally the, just the same thing, though. It's just a three by three cube. So from the center, like right here, go up. So this is level. Let's go up about three blocks right there. Place your glass down. There. Make it a three by three, and I'll refix all those other ones down below. Inside of this cube, you are going to want to have a bed and the villagers profession table. So just like I brought uh, the other stuff, but what we can once we get the villagers in here, we'll put that stuff in here as well. That's what's going to make this a village. So same with downstairs. So pretty simple stuff, right? Easily get the villager in here. So what I'm going to do, go up two blocks. Um... I've got to run rails all the way over here. So I'm going to just probably run off the side here like this. I am just not doing good with the block placing today. Am I guys? Holy crap. <laughs> all right. And then just simply, you know, run a villager into that, break the mine cards, be good to go. So I've got to get the villagers over here now. Enjoy this uh, insane time lapse.
Okay, guys, I hope that you enjoyed that little speed up. It was kind of fun getting the villagers over here. Um, we are on the final stages before we got to go find Bad Omen. Now, the only things really left to do are put the water in, but I also was thinking that it might be smart to put some storage in here because, like, if you really think about it, we're going to have a lot of items flowing through here. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of that. Um, get rid of all this, and so we'll fix the floor. But, um, yeah, we just got to put the water in, and then once we have Bad Omen, this should be considered a village. Pretty much should be good to go after that, I think. I'm going to switch this over to stairs. Come over here. Do I have stairs in here? I do not. Let's make some stairs real fast. Uh, You make a little bit more, I think. All right, so there we go. I wish you could paint glass. That would be like the coolest update ever, by the way. Okay, by the way, uh, I do apologize if the quality of this video, like the actual quality, not like me recording and saying it's good and bad, uh, is like down. Windows updated and I couldn't record, like it just broke everything. So I downgraded the Windows version um, so I'm kind of hoping that fixes it. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, okay. So let's fill this stuff in real fast. All right. So chest setup should be pretty easy and almost finished. There we go. Uh, should probably also just get rid of this. I think there we go. Fill this back part in. And then I'm just going to make some slabs for that part. Okay, it's all taken care of. Let's fill this back portion. Like I said, guys, trying to actually like be good at this game again. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but there we go. And do I have any more chests? I have five. Let me make some more. There we go. Tell me something, boy. I have that shallow song stuck in my head. Okay. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna need more chests. Let me let me go make some more real fast. Uh, all right, let's break some of this wood down. Let's make like forty of those suckers. Okay. Awesome. Let me remove this wall real fast. Oops. There we go. Okay. So now. We have got a bit of storage in here, which is good. We definitely need that. Um, <clears throat> let's go upstairs now. So we've got my two buckets of water. We got to figure out how we want to do this. We can either use signs or we can, um, we can do like fence gates. I think I'm going to try signs. So let's go there, there, make a bunch of those. All right, up we go. I don't think there's a bed out here. I think the closest bed is probably over there with all the, you know, all the baddies over here. I just want to sleep real fast because I know that playing in the dark can be kind of lame. Okay, so we'll get the water in and then we got to remember where the bad omen was. If I'm not mistaken, it was um, just like north of the iron farm. I'll have to look at my screenshots to figure out where it was, though. Okay. So. So I could put them there, but I think I would rather block the water. From on top. Um, okay, so here's what I think I'm going to do. Can I do it like this? I don't know if I can do it like this or not. Yeah, that'll break it. I may have to make fence gates. Let me run downstairs real fast. Grab that. I'm just going to make fence gates. There's two. Oh, I'm out of that. Okay. We need one more. There we go. Oh, no, that's not what I want. There we go. So we have that. We just need to get our water in real fast. Sorry, this is taking so long. I'm moving slow all of a sudden. There. There. So let's get these fence gates in real fast.
Don't need the middle one, of course, but I'm going to put it there anyways because I'm a spaz. Oh, no, that's not going to work. <laughs> that, no, <laughs> that's not going to work. There we go. Okay, so that's taken care of now. So... And I think we are pretty much ready to go. Let me go ahead and get another bucket of water. There. And... Right there. I think we're good to go, guys. So the only thing left to do is to fill that in. So let me get Bad Omen, and I'll be back. Okay, guys. I found the village outpost. I knew it was close by. It's like five or 600 blocks away. This is at 350, negative eight or 900. So I want to go over here, kill the guy, get Bad Omen. Uh, there should be quite a few pillagers over here because I see one right there. Okay, so there's the guy that we're looking for right there. So the good thing about these pillager outposts is that they always will spawn these guys. So it's pretty much an infinite loop that you will always have. All right, so we now have what we need. We should be able to fly back like 600 blocks. The one thing that we gotta be like really, really careful about is where we fly back through though, because we do technically have like three villages right there. Okay, is our villager there? Villagers there? And there we go. So now the raid is active. We should just be able to go downstairs. Eventually, we may want to figure out a better way to make this work. For now, though, I'm just going to chill here for just a second while the raid... Because the raid will come to us. Obviously, they are tracking the village. Um, they should fall down, no problem. I will show you, though. So the raiders are over there, and they are coming this way. They should be coming this way. There we go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go downstairs. Now, like I said, this one for me is favorable because I like to be able to control when I want to raid, right? So just being able to kill these guys with looting, be able to get the emeralds and everything that we want. Um, there we go. And as you can see, it's working pretty well right now. <laughs> Make sure I have looting on my sword. There we go. Fantastic. So this will just keep on recycling. I think the, um, what is it? The, uh, the illagers? It's not the illagers because these are pillagers. I think it's the illagers. Those are the ones that have the axes. They're the ones who drop the emeralds. Uh, but we also would like to have the, I would like to have the totems of undying too. Those will be pretty cool to have as well, so. All right. So I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I think, yeah, I was gonna say it takes them a few seconds to get here, but. So he, oh, he did drop two emeralds that time. So really the amount of emeralds that we want is really just, you know, kind of based on what we want from the, from how many times we want to do this and He's like, I'm not falling down. Oh, he's stuck. So that could be a problem. There we go. So from two two levels of raid so far, we have got five emeralds. And this is like, we could literally repeat this over and over again. We should be getting um, an illager beast in a second too, I think. Let's watch for him. Oh yeah, here comes the beast. Let's go back downstairs. <laughs> that thing is scary, man. We should be able to get saddles, emeralds, crossbows. Yeah. Uh, villager heads. <laughs> vindicator. That's what that thing is called. It's called a Vindicator. I couldn't think of the name. All right. Let's kill these guys. There we go. And I can totally see where something like... Uh, like having this thing running 24 seven could be good for somebody. He's a strong boy. I can't eat food. Oh, he's wrecking me right now, bud. All right, let's kill this guy. Get some health back. Oh, it's cause I have my elytra on. He's hard to hit. There we go. Oh, the game was lagging. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's why. All right. Okay. Can't get close to him. We may want to go to the crossbow for this portion. Is he going to die this time? Maybe not. All right, I got to let my... I think so. I think we have learned a very valuable lesson here. When we come down here, we have got to have... Not only do we have got to have a crossbow ready, but we've also got to have our chest plate. I hit him three. Oh, he killed me. I hit him three more times. Okay, guys. So I have completed the raid. I died the one time. Then I went and got my stuff. Uh, went and got my enchanted chest plates and um, my bow. That way we can fight the, the beasts. And so total loot from one single raid was two totems of undying, 27 emeralds, two bottles, uh, two saddles, sugar, redstone, and a bunch of heads. So I would say that whenever we want to do a raid, this is going to work just absolutely perfect. So guys, I think that's probably going to take care of today's episode. If you want to uh, and leave a like on the video, that means a lot to me. Otherwise, I hope you guys all have a great day. This is iJevin. Peace out, everybody.